It doesn't matter what game you play, you're always going to encounter psychopaths in matchmaking. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> You might be Wally, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hear Nakev. Oh my Get the ace. Get the ace. Man. Oh my god. Hey, the kid down! Da 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 da! It's a constant load of bullshit. But among the trolls, the obvious aimbotters, and the testosterone-fueled baby ragers, there exists a different breed of sadist. Players who have refined bullshit into an art form, with strats that could only be concocted in ranked ladders. Now, that's not to say that this type of cheese hasn't found its way into esports. On the contrary, we've seen fountain hooks, cannon rushes, and of course, some pretty horrendous ganking attempts. Oh boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> oh man! No way! Oh, double kill for Duke! And here they come, all on to Kuve, ending this one in style. But for the most part, the highest level competitors climb their way to the tops of their games by way of tactical nuance, game sense, teamwork, and, of course, skill. Here comes the hit. Yeah, that smoke might actually help him with the robs and a great call to the spray is in, and he gets oh, all oh, of the kills! Oh, no. Headshots in a row! However, in Valorant, an esport in which, if the developers are to be believed, shooting matters, there exists a player who spits in the face of that concept. An absolute menace, who isn't just regularly brushing elbows with the best players at the game's highest ranks, but terrorizing them with one busted-ass knobdocker. God, is there one enemy remaining? Three out of five. Cage triggers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Spike planted. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> That's <laughs> scary. Oh, he's pushing his magic. Run, 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 run. Go to A, go to A. To some, he's an urban legend. But to others, he is all too real and known simply as Dasnerf. Valorant's controller-wielding, judge-abusing, cypher-maining one-trick. No way! He's at 50. I was not ready for this. Ah, uh, yes. Oh my god, that's the controller cypher? Yeah, it is, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Who else would it be? So how the hell did this kid and his cheesy playstyle become every top-tier player's worst nightmare? And is Dasnerth's infamous approach something that belongs in Valorant, or just a gimmicky exploit that deserves to be nerfed into oblivion? No! Don't tell me! That's Dasner! I know that! I know that movement! That's Dasner! That's Dasner, bro! <laughs> That's Dasner! All right, so aside from bullying the top 500 players in North America, how did this young kid from Minneapolis become one of the most despised and infamous players Valorant has yet to see? Well, it all started back in 2018, when at only 13 years of age, Dasnerth began playing Minecraft professionally. Now, if you're like me, and the only exposure to professional Minecraft you've ever had is that dank-ass Canadian clip, then uh, let me try to make sense of it for you. So similar to the other battle royale games like Fortnite and Warzone, Minecraft players drop onto the map, find loot, and then fight to the death, with the last player standing declared the winner. But where Dasnerth really began to make a name for himself was at Skeppy's events. Hosted by one of Minecraft's most popular YouTubers, Skeppy, Dasnerth quickly showed everyone why he was one of Minecraft's best PvP players. We've done it. We did it, boys. Let's go. 
Let's go, baby. Dasnerth went on to win a record 13 Skeppy events, but it was in June of 2020 that he earned his biggest win yet, defeating Dream in an event run by Mr. Beast. Oh my god. I just got $5,000 for killing Dream. Congratulations. Yeah. You just killed one of the best players in the world and won $5,000. Now, one thing I should note is that throughout his entire Minecraft career, Dasnerth always played with a mouse and keyboard. He very seldomly played games with a controller. I played Fortnite a little bit with a controller as well. Minecraft, not as much, just like maybe a little bit on the Xbox with my friends, but it was mostly just Fortnite where I, I got cracked on the sticks, I guess you would say. But in April of 2020, young Dassey decided that he really wanted to put his controller skills to the test. Riot's new shooter, Valorant, was the hottest thing around, and Dasnerth wanted to give it a try. But he knew that in order to separate himself from the swath of early adopters trying to make a name for themselves, he'd have to do something different. So first off, he decided that he was going to main Cypher, an agent that is designed for a lurky and ratty type of player who can help hold down sights or cover flanks. But as we all know from those f***ing jet mains who litter all of our ranked matches, being a one trick isn't that unusual. In fact, Valorant has some pretty famous ones. No, the thing that truly made Dasnerth an anomalous f***ing weirdo is that he chose to play the game with a controller. I, I know my aim is not like the best and I really wanted to like try try something new, you know, see if I could get known out there. Like I'm not the best player. I don't have the best game sense. I'm, I'm not amazing at the game. So I thought maybe I could try going quote pro or just known in something else. I tried controller and I guess over time I've gotten okay at it. But that is hardly the only thing that is strange about Dasnerth's play style. Valorant offers players 17 different guns to choose from. But Dasnerth's arsenal only features one, the filthy, casual-friendly boomstick known as the Judge. And after the Stinger and Bucky were finally nerfed, this shotgun might just have become the most overpowered bullshit currently in the game. But, uh, nonetheless, speaking of leading, oh no. now leads the scoreboard. All five, oh. all clean. I just missed, but another fast play coming in from 100 Thieves. We did waiting with a judge oh to find my three. Gosh. So, armed with his Xbox One controller and a f auto shoddy, this crazed cipher main set his sights on reaching the upper echelon of competitive Valorant. He fought his way through silver, gold, platinum, Diamond, and yes, even the immortal rank, exclusively using Cypher and this one busted gun. But in January, this controller-wielding, matchmaking nuisance did the unthinkable. He hit Radiant. One enemy oh, remaining. Kill him. Kill him. Come on! Spike spotted. Oh, God. Come on! Last player standing. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! It's pretty cool to see myself up there and I get the chance to play with these actual like good players like I see them all the time and ranked. It's really fun to see new people like that. Dasnerth was now playing with and against some of the best players that North America had to offer. And many of them were dumbfounded by his shocking success. Dude, it blows my mind. Like, I could have never imagined something like this happening in a game like CSGO. But the fact that this is possible in Valorant, I don't know, it just shows that this guy is so high ranked while on a controller only using shotguns as Cypher. Cypher of old characters too, it's just hilarious to me that he's able to stay at this top rank while you know people are grinding, sweating, you know, using all the meta guns. So maybe there are like different ways to look at the game that we haven't even approached yet. Now, now I'm not saying that controller is viable competitively or anything, but if this guy is doing something, like it's worth like recognizing it in my opinion. And although not everybody can wrap their head around Dasnerth's unconventional playstyle, even the community can't deny that this kid is kind of nasty with it. It's hilarious. Like, uh, he has skill, man. Like, to be able to throw these cages down, like, I can't imagine using a controller, trigger the cage, jump, pull out my shotgun, you know? Like, I'm watching him, like, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> 
fucking go, dude. Holy shit. Come on, baby. Cypher, way to follow that up, man. They're all there. Every single one of them is there. Hmm. Maybe I should start using the judge. I'm gonna start using the judge. <laughs> Yo, just, just jiggle it. I have flash, I have flash, just jiggle it. Garage, oh, garage, and go out, go to HP. Nice, I'm supposed to spawn out. Nice, good yeah. game. I finally won one. And all I need to do is the controller cipher. Oh my god. My team though? Actually, that's not true. Because last time he was on my team, he, he outcracked me. So I can't reach anything. That's just a legend. How does he do that on a controller, dude? Please, controller player. Oh my oh. god. He uses the controller! But while some people find Dazner's cheesy shtick to be somewhat amusing, not everybody is as tolerant. And when you decide to play a game in an unpopular, unorthodox way, it's only natural that you're going to encounter haters. But in spite of the heat that Dazner brings upon himself, he hasn't just learned to live with his critics, he's actually come to sympathize with them. A lot of people don't really like me, I guess, especially in like the higher elo, as they think it's really throwing, but I, I, I just pushed past it and that's where I am now. If it's my teammates, I mute them, but I still give comms. Like, I, I don't really tilt too much for people. I kind of understand where they're coming from, where they where they think I'm throwing. Alongside like the enemy team, like it's whatever. I don't really I don't really take too much offense to it when they make fun of me or whatever. And while Dazzleth receives ample flame for his antics, certain high profile players have opted to avoid the problem that he presents altogether. I have him added on my friends list now, just so I can like dodge him whenever he's queuing. Uh, just like a small thing I did, just cause like, just check, yo, who's queuing? Oh, that's nerf. Let me wait like five minutes, all right? And then, then we'll queue. I didn't know if Shazam added to dodge me. That's what I usually thought when someone adds me. So I was like, wait, he actually wants to play with me? This is, this is different. And despite being exiled by certain members of the Valorant community, Dazner has kept grinding the game. And in March, he managed to shotgun blast his way to an unbelievable rank 22 on the North American leaderboards. Now, this is a very impressive achievement considering the caliber of competition that he's playing against. But the question remains, should this type of play really be allowed in a tactical shooter? Isn't Dazner's just living proof that the judge is the most overpowered weapon in the entire game? I think the judge is just a really broken gun and that's why he's able to get away with it. I mean, he's also playing on controller, so he can't even like switch to a different gun if he wanted to. Playing against Dazner is the most frustrating experience. It just shows you how busted the shotguns are. There was a game where I was playing against him. I made it my goal to like try to take him out and he was out playing me. Like, like he's a perfect example of how the shotguns are busted. I feel like there are things there are things that need to happen, like this guy need to, needed to happen to show how busted the shotguns are. Like, there had to have been a Dasner to prove, like, you know, these shotguns are way too powerful. But, and again, who knows if they'll change it. And what happens if and when Riot finally decides to nerf the damn thing? Will Dasner's impressive accomplishment be forgotten? Because if the judge gets nerfed, so too does Dasner's. So with the possibility of a potential judge nerf looming over the Valorant community, what will happen to the legend of this mythical menace? Well, according to Dazneth, no matter what Riot decides to do with the judge, he'll keep using it. And he's not afraid to adapt. Wow, I'll still judge. I don't know how they're gonna nerf the judge. It, it all depends on what they really do to nerf the judge, cause I'll just have to change my playstyle up a bit. Because at the end of the day, Valorant isn't Counter-Strike, nor should it be. And it's because of crazy kids like Dazneth that Riot's CS-inspired hero shooter remains full of surprises. But no matter what happens to his beloved shotgun, Dazneth continues to prove a couple of things. One, that there is no single effective way of playing any game. And two, that with a bit of cheesy creativity, you can accomplish things that no one even thought was possible. And until Riot finally decides to do something about the judge, Valorant's notorious Cypher main is just gonna keep doing his thing. Terrorizing his opponents on the server the way that he wants. One enemy 
remaining. What the f <laughs> Just running them down. Dazzerth quickly showed everyone why he was one of the- one of- oh Jesus. He is one of the Minecraft's best PvP players. He is the Minecraft. The Minecraft. Alright, hold on. Let's- let's recalibrate. But, as I'm sure all of you f***ing jet mains- I'm trying to Jeez. <laughs> jet mains, dude. Of course, this is a- now, this is very impressive. Now, obviously- now, this is a very impressive achievement. Now, this is a very impressive achievement. I just can't do it. I'm just <laughs> psyching myself out now. All right, hold on, hold on. Have a sip of water. I'll come back at this one. 